Yep, there's the hover, there's the lock-in. Nami, it is going to be very similar champions to what was picked up before. Early gank. All right, looking for it there. The root is on the Hauntzer. Haunt, Moon's got a red. He's got the slow from the smoke cloud. Here comes Sven Scare, and this could be a bit dangerous. But it still forces the flash. Well enough played on that gank. Now ball CC. But Sven, again, half HP is not going to find much to do here. Nice chunk on in. A good bit of a heal coming through from Biofrost. And Ultek on the bad end of this. Nicely done by Turtle. The volley actually, I believe, was blocked by Lemon. Nicely done there. Buys about six more seconds or so. He stops Svenskeren's recall. Moon's here already. And Flash List. There's the Flash W into the damage. The Q's going to come out soon. But be careful. Svenskeren can do plenty. Jumps right back it's in. One will do it. And he can't do it. But Sven's low. And that's the forced Flash. And, well, it's two Flashes for one. But it's a better recall timing for FlyQuest. See as High is going to roam down, play for control wards. But Biofrost is already here, and that's going to be, yep, a forced flash. And what's interesting is I feel like High could have cleansed instead and not burned flash. And yes. it was maybe the, the better choice, to be honest. He could have. Uh, he was not wanting to risk the follow up rune prison uh, after the cleanse debuff kind of wears off. That could have been a potential kill, so really Ooh. just playing it super. Moon sees safe. this, cue the wall. Oh, and Sven actually kind of intentionally stops short, but he doesn't have flash, so it's an easy kill. Battle Lords, the kill comes through to high, and oof. Nice trap by a moon wow. finds him in the river. Always going to get ults before the duo lane does. They want to realm warp in to get behind him. Well, no high. flash. Ulti's in. The hook actually lands. Cleanse doesn't mean much. Shockwave pulls in Hauntzer. Still goes down. High, of course, didn't have flash to get away. Not much he could have done about it. Nicely played. TSM find the kill. You can cleanse out of, I think, a Yasuo R's knockup as well. Right, because it's coded as a different type of CC yeah. as well, but there's another dive going on. All right, this time Moon might get it right, lands parts of the Q. The root is still on two balls. He's tanky enough, but they've got to respect the fact that there's someone else coming in. Sven does have flash, but doesn't go for the hard play. But unfortunately for FlyQuest, all they get is a trade of flashes. I would you agree too. Dark Seal and Boots. It's like, but you could just upgrade your different items instead. Sven's actually caught on the wrong side of this fight, jumps in towards high, TP's coming in. Gonna be matched a little bit later by Ball. Shocker doesn't get much done in a Bjergsen, and suddenly Moon's alone as well. That is an easy two for zero that FlyQuest you did not see coming, it seems. Easy yeah. for TSM. That's, that's me in most games. I feed a lot. <laughs> With like seven average deaths a game, it's actually pretty shameful. Even in wins. It's a stylistic choice. Style, yeah. I like to uh, call it a triple-double if I have ten or more kills, deaths, and assists. Then it sounds mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. In some sports, that's admirable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Less so for this one. The balls could not possibly one before this. And he's trying anyway because yeah. Moon's around. They're but the bubble land. Dive. Oh, dear. And he couldn't possibly one before this. He's going to try anyway and just dive for it. Wild Frost has aggro. And he flashed away in time. It's an easy kill that falls should never have given away. Yeah, Moon was behind him as well. So I think the idea was that they were going to somehow outplay them in that situation and try and trade a turret down bottom side. But... They're really just daring TSM to execute a proper turret dive, and TSM does. TSM comes out on top, but Moon actually moves to the mid lane. Now we got a teleport, so this is that forced action we're talking about FlyQuest tries to go for. Okay. It's high risk, though. Two turrets for two. Sven Skirns around. No ulti. Here comes Kurt. Oh, dear. Oh, in melee range of Biofrost. 100 HP left on him. Bubble's going to mean not a whole lot. Moon caught by the stun, so that's going to be him going down. Sven gets the kill. Shockwave on two. Sven is almost dead. Heals up, but he just can't quite die. FlyQuest just can't kill him off. They're forced to flash away. Eyes out of mana. Looking for the next one in, and it's going to be high already dead. And Haunts are just slinking out all of the health bars flashing red, but it does not matter. The cleanup is there. That's a three for zero. Looking to make it four if they can. They will. And there it is, a double kill in. TSM 4-0 in that fight. A catastrophe for FlyQuest. Really big moment in the game as far as power spikes go. Absolutely. There we go. A slow on a turtle. Flash two forces instead. Flashing out. Balls catches in and Moon gets the kill. So there's something and it's actually a penta assist. Everyone actually part of that fight. Go for a pick anyway. They get it and now they're forcing TSM into a big play. Going for an inhibitor turret. Even in a 4v5, TSM might be able to take him. FlyQuest want it though. It's a 3v5 because Svenskern's not in the fight. He was clearing out the mid lane wave. So 3v5 is what they're going to take. They're going to get a lot of damage on a Haunter. Shockwave is available. Haunter's going to die for this one. Maybe a bit of a waste on the Shockwave, but he wanted to predict Flash with it. Though Flash was down, again, wasted ultimate. But that is inhibitor turret down and two kills picked up without anything happening. I'm looking for Bjergsen. Can he run right warp now. out? If he doesn't see it coming, he's not going to have time. Okay, they see him. Can he land CC? Nope. Yeah. All right, good escape. 
Grow Wild, Turtle Fire, and Arrow for an initiation, or will he get caught again? Well, Edge of Night is on. Here's the ulti in. Damage on a turtle to hit one shot. Now looking at Haunter, then back to the mid side. He lands a couple of these hits. Biofrost a little low. Haunter in the front side. Bjergsen catches in, though. And it's going to be Elimination stunned up and blown up. He's gone to the start. And a bubble. double bubble means a lot more is going to happen. Redemption to buy some time. A double kill in. Make that a third. His boss is going to drop. And well, nothing's happening well for FlyQuest at all. It's only High left alive, and he's not going to stop this one. Into Baron TSM goes. TSM split pushing their way in. Ryze and Rengar in the mid lane now ulting down to join Hanser in the bot lane. Bringing a couple minutes with them, and it's going to be the 3v1 against Balls yet again. a while. It'll take some time. The Shockwave buys a little bit as well, and maybe this actually works for him. Redemption buys a bit. Still in a Hanser. Shot's going to come through. I'll take it to kill. Balls still durable on the front side. Gets away from Bjergsen. Turns out they reacted in time, but Balls is hit up. He gets crit up, and he gets killed off. Nicely played. A one for one. Both teams lose their top laners. Yeah, a moderate misstep, though, from TSM for sure. Yeah, well, they actually feel like they have an angle oh, onto someone. Hello. Satchel's over, but he is alone. Now, can he get the reinforcements in time? Here comes the dissonance for the move speed delta. Well, hold on, though, because the rest of the team is still coming into the realm. Warp Shockwave. And yes, it's going to pull in a couple. Good early damage. Biofrost doesn't get hit with the root, though. Sven in the wings, and actually, there's... No Ash close by. That is a nice shock with the well timed by High Moon. Oh, he's gone. He's just done. The arrow and the Svensker and combo comes through, and that means it's the third Cloud Drake easily. A inhibitor turret's harder to kill, so they use this time to go for the durable objective. All done's gonna land on the three people. It's still a 5v4. Moon's alive in four seconds. And it's enough time for the inhibitor to be killed off. And they go in on the balls. Look at the damage output there. Back on a Sven Scare. They can get it with one more shot, and they do. They pick up the jungler. The overaggression once again actually turned around. The inhibitor itself actually lives, and TSM must retreat for a bit. Rise a bit by himself, but he knows it's coming. Oh, the spell shield is off, too! The shields are there, though, and he's going to be able to walk away. Rangar ults, they know about it. The hook comes in, but Ball's an okay target. They're okay with this. Middle inhibitor open for TSM as well. They're running it down the mid lane, up the gut. They're looking for the damage here. Bjergsen does plenty of damage. Wild Turtle as well. Sven can see FlyQuest running around. That will be inhibitor down. Nicely played TSM. Capitalize off the FlyQuest move. Yeah, well done. trying to respeed balls up for a fight. If they could get on a turtle, remember, still has the flash, but doesn't want to go way too far in, knowing that all ultimates except for Rengar's is up. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe aggressive by Hansel. Roots into the front line, oh, and Balls it. is going to oh, when the fight actually starts. Bubble is on. Two man down to the back line. Tidal Wave buys a bit more as well, but Curtain Call gets a full channel time, and it's going to be Rawlmore to get out. TSM don't want to take any more damage. They know they can get forced. And Hanser was too low to team fight. There's a massive minion wave in the bottom lane right now that may end up taking the majority of the turret by itself. But FlyQuest does Baron. love forcing Baron. 10,000 gold down in a 5v5. This is very risky. Well, they saved their ults. Everything except Maokai and Jin have ultimates available. Wild Turtle, only one of his. But as you mentioned, there's a minion wave in the bot lane. And that turret went down. FlyQuest were only able to pull a teleport cooldown out of that play. And the thing is, now TSM yeah. get to run right back over to Baron, and they run fast. Yeah, and there's no turret to clear out those minions anymore. And not to mention, TSM already okay. on the Baron. But a 5v5, it's a little bit smarter with an 11,000 gold lead, but still a chance for FlyQuest to turn the game around if they get the right fight. Balls Watch might have shockwave. position. Watch for Shockwave. Balls gets bubbled. That's OK. He's in towards the team. Can they find the intro? His ulti's on. He's waiting to find Bjergsen overextending. He's waiting for the push. Moon can tank this done. That's OK. Balls still tanky with the shields. Damage in a Hunter shock with catches two. Biofrost and Bjergsen. Biofrost gets away from this one. Elimination chucked out. A clan turtle on the turtle. He went to the front line, but it's traded back in. And it's a three for one. It's all okay for TSM. They got the trade kills. And now somehow two have to defend four with an open Nexus turrets. Turtle flanks around the side of that fight. Now TSM just going for the jungler. They already have three down. They want the game. And they save 10 seconds of move speed by going in. Nexus turret number one is gone. And this time around, the Nexus rush should go fast enough. Yurkson has Zach and doesn't matter. Solo mid's going to close out this series, I have to believe it. 20 seconds of the respawns. And yesterday, they took down Cloud9. Today, they take down FlyQuest. TSM take down their toughest opponents in the North American LCS back to back. And they improved to eight and two. I would assume they're yes. trying to get the damage down and the Nexus falls. <laughs> we are right after all. Well played TSM. They beat the hardest possible competition at this point in time.